Hey everybody. Hey, I wanted to do a quick video today. It's just going to be a short one just to uh, talk about this um, install I did about a year ago. And uh, it was to install this uh, flexible solar panel up on the roof here. And I wanted to do it without drilling any holes because uh, I know there's a, a lot of folks out there who would rather not drill any holes in the roof of their RV. So it's been a year now and you can see it's still here um, and it's holding on pretty well uh, with this Eternabon tape uh, on the edges. But there has been an issue that I've encountered that I did want to share with you today in this video. So it's going to be a quick follow up and we're going to talk about maybe how we can improve and perfect this process going forward. So overall, you know, this panel has really held up pretty well um, using the uh, Turnabon uh, tape on the edges here. And, uh, you know, we've been up and down the West Coast, uh, you know, done the highways and freeways, uh, been down in the Southwest, you know, in the warmer weather. And then it's actually set out in the rain quite a bit up here in the Pacific Northwest. So we've gotten some, uh, some decent rain and, uh, you know, it's held up pretty well I think um, in terms of its integrity it's uh, you know it hasn't moved so it um, the turnabons holding it uh, pretty steady now what I did notice recently though is around some of the edges there's been a little bit of swelling uh, in the tape and I at first I thought oh it's because some of the edges are pulling up a little bit um, and it's caused uh, the tape to come loose a little bit especially through this uh, really hot weather we've had this summer but recently I, uh, I realized it was actually a combination of two things. So we've, we've gotten some rain and uh, as well as some hot weather. And uh, what I found is that there's actually a little bit of water that's actually gotten in under the uh, solar panel. What I found is that this uh, seal right here is not 100% waterproof. So there's a uh, you know, overlap right here and there's a little gap that goes in here. So as, as it rains, water will collect in these corners here and some of it will seep in behind the uh, the turnabout here and underneath the solar panel so you can see down in the lower end yeah press on that a little bit i don't know if you can see a little bit of a little bit of moisture coming out there now I noticed it the most over here on this corner because there's this is the low end and there's a little bit of a slant in the roof here. So you can see that you know it was uh, actually pulling up a little bit right here. So I thought it was just air in there, and then I pressed on it and I noticed a little bit of uh, a little bit of water coming out of there. So I said, "Huh, I wonder if there's some water under here." So what I did, since there's really no puncture in the roof and no damage uh, being caused by this water being under there, I, I, I poked a little hole right here in the Eternabon, and then as I pressed on it, you can see, you know, there's a little bit of water there coming out. So there's obviously some moisture buildup underneath the panel there. My install here on these corners, I could have been a little bit better. and. Um, you know that's the main issue that I've, that I've encountered so far so you can see there's <laughs> compressed on that and uh, you see that water right here so I'm just gonna leave that little drain in there so any water or moisture that gets built up in there will just uh, run out for now so to address this problem I think uh, the solution really for now the next thing I'll try will be to uh, probably put some sort of uh, double-sided adhesive uh, underneath the edges before I cover it with uh, with the Eternabon tape. Now I actually have some uh, some double-sided Eternabon tape that I've used uh, for other projects. So maybe lining the outer edge underneath uh, with some sort of double-sided adhesive like this is gonna is gonna be a big improvement because that'll eliminate any any upward pressure um, from the uh, solar panel, which my, you know, under really hot conditions could actually loosen some of that uh, turn on a little bit and uh, prevent any actually any water from from getting in through those edges. But that's probably what I'll try next. There's a few of you that have uh, commented on this uh, on the other video uh, recommending some other uh, double sided, really, you know, durable adhesives as well. So I'll, uh, you know, look at those again and, and, and see if those are some good recommendations too. But um, yeah, but I'm going to do that another day, not today. I don't want to tear this up today and, and fix it. Um, it's still it's still fine. So I'll uh, do that uh, and I'll make a video about that when I uh, when we take on that project. But right now it's holding on pretty good um, and I'm pretty happy with it. 
Now I wanted to give you a quick look at what the other panels on the other end of my roof look like. And these are the ones that were actually installed using screws and uh, going through the, um, the grommets and uh, a little bit of decor uh, sealing up around the edges. So those are actually really solid and they've been around, um, they've been installed a lot longer than the, uh, than the actual uh, Eternabond tape one was. So you can see here, aside from being a little bit dirty right now, um, these are on here really well. So they're really solid. They don't move at all. You know, their corners are really still really good no leakage or anything underneath there so the uh, with the decor sealing around the edges and the actual screws holding them down uh, there is no there is no upward pressure whatsoever from these that's going to create any kind of gap so so those are still holding on really 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 well if you guys uh, have tried this uh, this approach I'd love to hear how it's going for you and uh, you know share your experiences in the comments and uh, we'll get this perfected and uh, you know the the idea is really to be able to mount these things uh, to the roof without any screwing into the uh, <coughs> roof itself. So I think it's going to be a good solution long term if we can figure it out. And obviously if you have a sloped uh, roof like on an angle or something, it's probably not even an issue. But uh, anyway, I want to do this quick update for you guys and uh, you know to share what I've found and I hope it helps. Mm -hmm.